Uh, today is April 26th, 2023, and you can see right here where the animal has dug into their fake, um, you know, the, I mean, you can see what they're trying to use it for. I mean, it smells just terrible, obviously. I mean, look at it. It's an open, rotting pit, and uh, yeah, I'm going to close it. It smells terrible. I'm sick of looking at it. It's gross. I hate it, and uh, yeah. This brick. Oh yeah, that'll that'll stop this from happening. Oh boy. Well, Sarah, we didn't. We don't have rats. We we put a brick on it. So yeah, I mean, and this needs to get taken care of because it's been like this for over a year. For you. <laughs> and also, what about boomers that aren't pieces of shit because they do exist? <laughs> Very few of them. Very few, but they fucking exist, and they've done some major stuff. Yeah. It's just the generation wars are just such bullshit. Yeah, the culture wars definitely do the seem to be war, yeah, in generationally bullshit. generationally divided. Like you can find older people who support trans rights, but you can find most older people who are just like, "What? What what did you say? That's yeah. gay." You know, it's just like that's their whole entire cognitive process. <clears throat> Those people would be uh, better serviced in a retirement home if that retirement home was deaf. <laughs> okay, so I also have no service out here, by the way. Mine is showing that I do because I have downlink either mouse ear or rock crest, aka. We think that we finally have identified that. Uh, little white flower plant that grows everywhere, mouse crest. And that actually makes a lot of sense because it's not chickweed, right? And that's why I've been so hesitant to ID it as such because everyone was saying, oh, it's chickweed, it's, it's not chickweed, it's different. And then it also doesn't have those weird like little like cat ear whisker things. So that's how you can distinguish it between that and the other crest that's bl blooming at this time, but is a little bit bigger and a little bit wispier. So this one's, I guess, called mouse crest. It's growing also in creeping time, so don't confuse that. Yeah, these are invasive. This is uh, lesser celandine. The greater celandine. I was saying I don't know which one is which. Now we have the answer. Because that one over there, I'm pretty darn certain is greater celandine. Yeah, they don't even really look similar at all. Their flowers do kind of look similar, though. But, like, not even the same, though. Same with the leaves. Yeah, they're very different. And then this one here is uh, garlic mustard. Greater celandine. I forget what this one is called. These are, this is the stage where you want to eat them. I have a property lot. Not really, but like... Not that I'll admit to. So this is an apple blossom. Very, very cute tree. These are, this is an old tree too, like, these trees uh, live for a very long time. Wow. Oh, there's a bee that's actually doing its thing. Huh. That's like the first bee I've seen all year, like, unironically, and it's actually an imported bee. I'll show you where their nest is. It's not a native nest, that's for sure. It may be a native bee to the area, but the nest itself is imported. All the other bees are dead. Like, unironically, though. It's pretty fucked up. They seem like much of a choice. Really? does look a little different. The bees are doing work. This is the only place I've seen any pollination this year. Like, I'm not even joking either. The pollinators are really, really in trouble. Those boxes over there, those boxes I was talking about. See what I mean? 
those are where they live. And so they're just always kind of there. And then they go to the only flowers available, they pollinate, and they go back to their little beehive. Cal repair. Yeah, I would think so too. That's nice. I'm gonna come back here and see if I can get a pair later in the season. I don't think they're really like edible nice pears. My my recollection is that they're like this big. Mm, so kind like of like a pear. That big. Can I make like jellies and stuff out of pears? Talking shit turkeys. <laughs> Yo talking all that gobble shit a second ago, what happened, huh? Fuck you too. Go, 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 go. <laughs> They're doing their aggression display. <laughs> yeah, that's how I always feel. You know who's really good at killing ticks, turkeys, and possums? So we're in the little drying rack, and the last time I was here, everything was still green when they had just harvested it. So now you can see what everything looks like when it's like super dried. Fever few or feather few? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's chrysanthemum, I see. Yeah, I was like, that's weird. How did you pronounce it? Nastur... Nastur... Nastertium? Nastertium? Nastertium. That's a weird word. Some lady does all this like cool artwork. She got like an Instagram. Oh. Huh? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's beautiful. The sign out front explains like how she does it. Really? Yeah. I I don't really remember how, but the peony is kind of cool. What was this building? This is like the drying rack house. I don't know what it used to be. But that's what they have it labeled as now. I think right in my photo, but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay with you. That's alright. I have like a whole vlog now, you know. I'm very oh, popular. I love this mural. I want to know the tattoo. That's, that's like my leg. <laughs> my god, I'm bleeding. What? I'm bleeding. Oh no. From what? I don't know. Oh, probably at some time. Something must have got me. No ticks. Look at this, it's like holding it up. See, it's not connected to anything, it's just holding it. <laughs> this is the broomstick corn. I don't know what that noise is. What, what? These are maples? Wait, this has got to be a poplar tree, though. No. Yeah. Oh, this one is. Oh, yeah. I think that this one, yeah, this one, I know it. I know, I was looking at the leaves. I was like, those are definitely maples. Here, try to try, try to break here. the broomstick corn with your thumb. Like, try to, like, break it just with your thumb. Nope. Like, compared to, like, a cattail or something. I've never picked up a cattail, but, yeah, that's strong. 
Yeah, isn't that incredible? Jesus. Yeah, it's like wood almost. Here, I'll show it with my foot against wood. See, it's more like wood than it is corn. Yeah, that's the poplar.